Hi guys, so I am at the White Cube where I am going to go to Tracy Ann's latest exhibit and it is the opening night. I'm very, very excited about this. So let's have a look together and explore the new collection that's going on with the dates here. Tracy Emmons, I followed you to the end at the White Cube. This was one of the first pictures that grabbed my attention and it's called I Cuddled You. When you look at it, you do realise it's both of our cats. Going on to another bronze, this room, which I just showed you I Cuddled You and the bronze, was a long, narrow corridor, which actually had lots of small paintings, I will show you in a minute. But I'm just looking at some of the larger paintings for now. And don't worry if you feel like I'm flashing by some of them a bit too quick because I'm going to go back to them like this one where at first I saw this say I fell in love with you but when you look at this as a series what do you see? We will come back to it and we we'll see if you've worked it out. Um, looking at this uh, particular piece here this one was for me it felt like Emma Lane in her bed with her cats uh, teacup and pancake which you can see on social media if you follow her on Instagram and she's always posting with them which is very cute and this just feels like her in a safe space with her cats this is another one in that hallway I was mentioning again with the cats and this just felt very comforting to me even though it was softly done with the lines this one felt like someone just resting on someone this one I'm going to admit on the day uh, I saw it in the opening I liked it but didn't understand fully and then I went back on the Saturday afterwards and when it was quiet and I actually really related to it there's a lot of words in Emmons pieces and if it's not words that are painted it's words with the titles one thing I love about her work is they always have beautiful titles that are almost like poetry and this one is uh, even in itself with this movement of like in the sexual act and when you look at it it's called Fla Flowers of Love and just the way the figure is captured and the free spirit in the movement from smaller to bigger scale pieces like this one they, they all have life, they have an energy and that's one of the things I am deeply drawn to with Emin it's the same as other expressionists as for example Edvard Munch or, or even people like Louis Bourgeois which I've mentioned in the past I love artists that make you feel something and you can't whether you love it or you hate it it makes you feel you can't go to this space without feeling something for me I'm definitely going to come back here again this particular piece I'm just zooming in here because it's actually where Emin's got a stoma uh, after her operations and it's actually a self-portrait in a her in the bed with the cats again and the stoma and now we're going back to this one that I was saying and some other little close-ups just looking at the expression, the ink these are all paintings that actually make you feel why was I crying with title is and sometimes that's something that I feel like we've all questioned ourselves before um, this reminded me of Oslo which you would have seen in one of my previous videos when I went to see Emin's mother statue at Munch Museum in Oslo uh, it was very grand and then you've got these other paintings and the scale again, this one's a bigger one, but if the smaller, the bigger, they none of them lack for detail, they've got so much movement, so much expression, so much layering involved, even if you look at the paints. This one felt very traditional 90s Emin, and this one looking straight afterwards all of a sudden when it was called uh, barbed stitches barbed wire stitches apologies um, made me actually clench physically and for the pain that you must go through to have that kind of surgery and operation and this one personally I don't know what this one's about but I like it 
it gives me a sense of peace and being at Margate Beach where she's from if you do know let me know I'm just gonna have a look at this one now This one called We Do Not Sleep with a little kitty just actually reminds me of my cats and how they keep me up, especially at 3.30 a.m. There you go, there's the title. This one is the actual title of the show, I Followed You to the End and it's a really beautiful piece it slightly reminds me of a Vivian Westwood dress that Andreas designed for Taylor Swift with the right words of the Torture Poets Department however this is a personal one to Emin with her words I wonder if the design was based off of a Westwood dress and then she's put her own words to make her own story one thing I will say is when you do read this and take the time to read it it does actually scream her story and you can see people just fascinated right there. Um, Mrs. Vahora is talking about where it had some smaller scale pictures and the ones that are in incredible detail still. For example, the actual strokes, the movement. It's incredible and I just felt truly excited to be able to be at the opening of an Emmy show. I never thought that would happen. This particular piece here I had to look at it a few times and I worked out that she was in the bathtub and I kept crying. The ink represents the water, represents the tears, you've got the blood flow. There's so much going on that you can take at your own personal experience. So going back to this one that we teased you a bit earlier with, there's I I love you and then I kept falling in love with you and what you start to realise by looking at the titles this is me this was a build up of different stages of her as she's grown from younger to middle to more mature and she's even got lines expressed on her face but this is a picture of her falling in love with herself and I was so happy to see this for her this particular picture this one really shocked to me. It's really moved me personally and deeply through emotions I've been feeling with some individual personal people in my life at the moment and it said don't ask me to like you. And it's so powerful because I have felt like sometimes people pleasing and this really pulled me up on my own thoughts and then made me come back to this one and actually looking at this again just to have another perspective. It's quite interesting with uh, the I don't want to have sex because my body feels dead and then you see this sculpture in bronze which also feels like it could be like where in Scotland she's got the piece in nature or in Oslo it feels like it could be submitting to Earth. It almost looks out of place in the gallery. So I have just been to see the exhibit. It's a little bit noisy. Hopefully you can hear me okay. But it was truly breathtaking and wonderful. I gotta admit, I didn't actually enjoy filming as much this time because I was so into the art. And I actually filmed around once, but wasn't really paying attention. It didn't actually hit record. So I had to go around again. Uh, I did buy the art book and it's some other books I'd love to go back and get again, but this is definitely one I'd come back for and I really recommend for you guys to see. Have a white cube in Bermondsey, London Bridge.